5 Facts You Should Know About Her Breasts You don't need scientific proof to tell you that men like women's breasts, but there's still plenty of research to back up that claim. For example, one University of Nebraska-Lincoln study found that men spend more time ogling a woman's chest than any other part of her body. But quiz most guys about how much they really know about breasts and you won't get much farther than how pleasing they are to look at. Unfortunately, knowledge and research has proven that gazing at her breasts is actually beneficial to your health. Learn how to better navigate second base with these fascinating facts you never learned in Anatomy 101. Their sizes can fluctuate. You can tell when her period is with just a glance. According to the National Institute of Health, women's levels of the hormones progesterone and prolactin increase about a week or two before she menstruates. This causes her to retain more water and her breast tissue and milk glands to grow, and with them, her bra size. Some women can grow as much as a cup size bigger. But be careful, if she is about to be on her period, stimulation can be more painful and decrease sexual arousal, says Leah Millizer, MD at the Stanford School of Medicine. Breast orgasms exist. Sounds too good to be true, right? Rutgers University researchers used infamy to find that nipple stimulation activated the medial paracentral lobule, or the part of a woman's brain that also lights up with genital action. Still not convinced? In a classic study of 213 women, 29% of the females reported experiencing a nipplegasm. Try this new titillating technique from Dr. Ava Caudale, a sexologist and author of Neurolovviology. The power to mindful love and sex. Lick and kiss every centimeter of her breasts and follow with light fingertip caresses, leaving her nipples until last. Cup your hand over one breast at a time so that the tip of her nipple rests in between your thumb and your index finger. Squeeze the fingers together so that you raise her nipple slightly and lick it with the tip of your tongue, Caudale says. To enhance her arousal, Caudale suggests keeping an ice cube in your mouth. Wrapping her eyes in a blindfold will heighten her sensation even more, says Emily Morse, sexologist and host of Sex with Emily podcast. Most importantly, be patient. While Caudale says it should hopefully take under 20 minutes, every woman is different and her response time will vary. Don't zero in on the target. While you may want to use your newfound wisdom to shower your woman with nipplegasms, remember that her entire chest is important. The nipple is actually the least sensitive to touch, says Debbie Herbenick, Ph.D., the men's health sex professor and a sexual health researcher at Indiana University's Kinsey Institute. Austrian researchers found after testing 150 women that the top quarter of their breasts, think between 10 and 2 on a clock, felt sensations most strongly, then the areolas, the dark area circling the nipple, and surprisingly last, the nipple itself one may be bigger. Don't freak out if she appears a little lopsided. About one quarter of all women have one breast that is larger than the other, says Carrie Peterson, MD, an internal medicine physician and women's health medical contributor. Women's breasts are independent beings that respond to estrogen differently during puberty, Peterson says. For about 65% of women with breast asymmetry, the left dominates. A Turkish study suggests that the left side of her body has a higher immune hypersensitivity, a factor that impacts hormones such as estrogen that control breast shape and size. This unevenness is only cause for concern if one breast abruptly becomes larger than the other, Peterson says. If that's the case, she'll likely notice the change like you will, feeling lumps or increased tenderness, which could be signs of infection, cysts, or even breast cancer help her by playing doctor. If you feel anything strange under her shirt, goad her to get a professional breast exam just to confirm that everything is normal, says Mildlizer. A majority of those scary bumps turn out to be non-cancerous masses that are caused by hormonal changes, such as a cyst, which usually feels like a soft grape, or a fibroadenoma, a rubbery movable mass. Women should be going in for checkups once a year, or bi-yearly if she has a family history of breast cancer, says Mildlizer. Thank for watching. Please like and share this video if you like it.
subscribe our channel to see more video. Pnizadvguide.com